happy Pat's Day. Did you guys know Pat had her, has her own day today? 9-11. Farm to a DC uh, week four Tuesday. So Monday's DC was allegation type one. So a quick refresh with allegation type one. You put the order in the middle, supply one here, supply two here. You find the difference. I'll just call this difference one. Find the difference here, difference two. And then you divide that by D1 plus D2. Right? Where did they Over D1 plus D2. There's always two supply. So make sure if it's NS, you know the strength of NS. And if it's D5, you know the strength. And then the last step is to multiply by the final volume. Whatever mLs you get here corresponds to that strength supply. And whatever volume you get here corresponds to S2 strength supply. So in allegation type 2, it's very similar. We're going to start it off the same exact way. Order goes in the middle. So I'll label this type 2. So order still goes in the middle. You still have a supply and a second supply. You're still going to find the difference. I'll call that D1. So you'll still find the difference, but the similarities end here. And what's going to happen is you're going to be given a starting amount. And your job is to figure out if the starting amount goes to D1 or D2 right, based on the order. And then once you figure out which goes where, you're just going to solve for the missing one. Right, so that's type 2. It's on the board. Type 1, type 2 um, summarized as well. So I'll do these examples and then give you guys a chance to work on your DC for today. So type 2 allegation. How do you know it's type 2 allegation? you are given a starting amount. So in the supply, we are starting with 500 mLs and then we're going to add D50 to make it 35. So type 2, start it the same exact way. So here our order is 35 and our supplies are 50 and 5. So just the same as type 1. We'll find the difference here. This is 15. Find the difference here. It is 30. All right, from this point, we got to figure out where does the 500 ml belong to? Does it belong to the 30 or the 15? Here's the hint. Which one do you think it belongs to, the 30 or the 15? The 30, why? Oh, the 5% is here. All right. So the 15 parts must equal 500 ml. All right, so that's information that's given. So everyone agrees? 5%, we're going to use 500 ml. How did you get the 30 and the 15? The difference. Just find the difference diagonally. Just like type 1 allegation. This is... DC week four Tuesday. Yeah, so make sure you're on DC week four Tuesday. So it's type two allegation. You're given a starting amount. So here our starting amount is 500 mLs of D5. Here is 5%. That's 500 mLs. So 15 parts equals 500 mLs. Which part are you? So here? Yeah, diagonally across. Just like type one allegation, man. So everything is the same from that point until here, where we put in the volume that's given. So you're going to have to figure out if it belongs to the top or the bottom, that 500 mLs. So 5% is 500 mLs, so that equals to 15 parts. So all you have to solve for is 30 parts. So if 15 equals 500, how much would 30 equal? It's a conversion, yeah. So it's a thousand. So fifteen thirty, 
30 is twice as big, so this number needs to be twice as big. So if you're not sure, 500 is given to us in the order. So type 2 allegation, a starting amount is given. And as stated on the board, you have to figure out which one it belongs to, either to difference 1 or difference 2. So here, the 500, we found that it belongs to the 5%. So we got to figure out, if does it belong to this one or this one? So based on our order, 5% is 500 ml, so it belongs to this one down here. So we have to solve for the other one. Now to solve for 30, if you're not sure, it's just like a conversion factor. Anytime you have an equality, you can use that as a conversion factor. So just put your units so they cancel out. So 15 parts is equal to... Is that right? Yeah, 500 ml. So the parts cancel out, and then your answer would be a thousand. So for type two allegation, one of the answers already given to you. So what we have is we're starting with 500 ml of D5W and we're going to add to it a thousand ml of D50. Okay. So this is what we start with. This is what we add. So in the end we ended up with how many ml's? 1500 ml's of 35%. Okay. So in this type of question, we can ask three different things. We can ask how much D5 was used, in this case 500. Or we can ask how much D50 was used, in this case the answer is 1,000. Or they can ask how much 35 was made. And that you just add them together. So let's do one more example, and then I'll give you guys a chance to work on your DC. All right, so start off just like type one. What goes in the middle? For this example two, what goes in the middle? 12. 12, all right. You have two supplies. What are they? Uh, percentages, what are your two supplies? 10 and 20. All right, so you only want the percentages in here. So it doesn't matter where you put the 10, where you put the 20, as long as you follow the same. All right, next step. Yep, we find the difference. So this is 2, and this is 8. All right, so we got 8 parts, 2 parts. What's the next step? What's the next step? 10% is 50 ml. So that means 8 parts will equal 50 ml. What do you need to solve for? 2 parts. So, no, yeah. 2 parts. 8 parts is 50. How much would 2 parts be? So let's. No. 8 is 50. Eight pairs of shoes cost you 50 bucks. How much would two pairs of shoes cost you? There you go. So solve for two parts. That's your unknown. Your conversion factor is this right here. Now that you have an equality, you can use that as your conversion factor. So 12.5. So we'll round it to 13 ml. Yeah. 50 is given. Yeah, here's 10%. So 8 parts must be 50 ml as given. Then you just solve for 2 parts. Alright, what number goes here for 20%? 13 ml. And then this would be... 
50. So you should get at least half. Correct, because half of the answer is given to you. And if they were to ask how much 12% could be made, you would say 63. You would add them together. All right, so give it a try. Very similar to type 1, but you stop right at the differences.